Another day, another cup of chai. Over two weeks, I am embarking on the expedition of a lifetime in Pakistan with 15 new friends, journeying from Lahore all the way up into the mountainous region and back again. Previously, the team landed in Lahore and got acquainted with one another whilst exploring some of the most iconic landmarks in the city. We then began our journey up north, passing through the capital city of Islamabad. I'm actually really surprised at how different the cities are and how different that they feel. In this episode, we will be riding along one of the world's most dangerous roads in funky jeeps before embarking on a trek through fairy meadows to attempt reaching the base camp of Nanga Parbat, the ninth tallest mountain in the world. So we set off super early in the morning from Islamabad to make our first big drive up to a small mountain village called Ghana. Well, what a place to arrive to in the mountains. Look at this. In Las Montañas, in Pakistan. They don't speak Spanish here. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. They absolutely <laughs> don't. 12 hours it took us to get here. Over 14 hours, though. We did stop for about two hours for breakfast and lunch. So we've all done really well to get here, especially Baba, our driver. He's been an absolute legend. And to all those who were sick on the bus, feeling for those right now. Every single time another person goes down, we're like, Another one bites the dust because it's just it's just one after another or we're dropping like flies. But that's not a bad thing because if we're sick now, it means that we're gonna be fighting fit for the treks that we have coming up. Chai, please, for me! Uh, green tea for Devon. Devon needs green tea. Devon needs green tea. Yeah, apparently I need green tea. So you, need <laughs> you need it. You need it. Oh, chai. Very good. It wasn't long after we arrived that the sun went down and the moon came out. It was important to get a good feed in us tonight, as we'll definitely need the energy for our first big trek of the expedition tomorrow. And this is what this place looks like in the light. You. Morning everyone! Good morning everybody. It's so nice to wake up and actually be able to see the view. It's been pretty chilled this morning. We had to wake up, no, breakfast was at eight and we're leaving now at nine and we've had to pack our bags for the next two nights. We're gonna be heading up into Fairy Meadows in some Jeeps and we're not gonna have our big main bags for two nights. So mine is very, very full. This is what we're taking with me for the next two days. I've got my sandals hanging on the outside because they literally didn't fit in. In hindsight, I wish I had a slightly bigger day pack. Mine's 26 litres. It was recommended to bring like a 30 to 35 and I do think that would have been smart. But hey ho, we will deal with what we've got. After we packed our bags, it was time to load them onto the bus. Our newly packed hiking backpacks were to stay with us whilst our main luggage gets loaded onto the top of the bus by the man the legend Baba himself. Did you know that Pakistan is the country with the highest concentration of high altitude peaks in the world? <gasps> Bigger than Nepal. We're quite close to Nepal and obviously that's where you've got Everest. Um, but it's the same mountain range here in Pakistan. It's the Himalayas. Great. I haven't been feeling so good today. Woken up with a bit of a fever. But hopefully, if I can still do the hike, Will has said that there can be an emergency donkey to bring you. Oh, pick me! I didn't have too long to contemplate that donkey ride because before long, we arrived at our meeting point by Rykop Bridge to transfer into Jeeps. All right, so these are the Jeeps. Yeah. As we crammed ourselves into these snazzy 4x4s, I don't think any of us could have quite prepared for just how chaotic this journey would be. I don't think there is anywhere to hold on to. <laughs> and we're off in the jeeps for the next two hours. So I'm with Sophia, we've got Imran in the front. I think this is the world's most dangerous road. <laughs> we have been told and now I should have bought a sports bra. <laughs> Vehicle. Okay, the no. basically now the Kyoji. 
scenery. I oh, know. So we have set off on our trek through the fairy meadows. Now this is supposed to take around two hours. I think it's going to take us a bit longer because there's a few people, myself included, feeling not so strong today. But that's okay. Slow and steady wins the race. Says goodbye. Is that goodbye forever? <laughs> goodbye forever, Sophia. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? This is an insane little ridge. Woo. Here they come. How is it? Is it fun? You've never been on a horse before. Who would have thought the first time is here in Pakistan? <laughs> We are the three legends at the back. <laughs> Jade, Aziz and I. <laughs> We've been overtaken by the donkeys. Well, actually, I think they were on horses. We're struggling the next most. We're, taking it back. we're just plodding along at the back. We'll get there eventually. Hopefully without passing out in the meantime. <laughs> How are you feeling, Lucian? I feel lightheaded, but grateful that we've made it to the halfway point. I think this is Eagle's Nest, or the Fairy Meadows Midway Hotel to be specific. We were given chai, some chips. When you cook it, you denaturize the enzyme. 10 out of 10, do not recommend hiking with a fever. I did pass out at least three times. No, I didn't actually pass out, I almost passed out. Hot milk, let it cool down. My brain is not functioning correctly. But we moved. We're getting there. It's safe to say I was very much smiling through the pain at this point. Those fever symptoms were only getting worse and hiking at high altitudes really wasn't helping the situation. But onwards and upwards, as they say, as we had places to be and people to meet. Wow, look at that rainbow. And we have arrived in our little mountain village. I didn't pass out but I can barely breathe. <laughs> but, it, but it's okay because we arrived. This is so cool. Who would have thought that right in the middle of the mountains after trekking for several hours, there's these super cool mountain huts. Right in the middle of nowhere. We trekked a long way to get here and very high. It's still very much raining, but we don't mind because we're just happy to be here. Everyone's settling in this little hut here. There's mountain cabin vibes though. My hair looks nice. We've got some chai. 
<laughs> we made it. We made a goat friend. Oh, you made a goat friend. He's a goat. Like the last twenty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say. This is our goat. Change from the train jacket into the fleece. I left my Apple Watch on the bus, but Jess had hers and she recorded the walk. So what are we looking at? So total time is two hours forty six minutes. Yeah. Total distance is six point seventeen k. Oh, that's good. Elevation? 659 metres. That's really good. 659 metre elevation. Uh, so we've arrived <laughs> at Fairy Meadows. We're staying at Greenland Resort. And uh, today we are going to be sitting around the campfire. Hopefully the clouds clear and we can get some unpolluted uh, night sky. You can see loads of the stars. And, uh, and we're praying for no clouds in the morning so we can finally see Nanga Parbat. Here, fun fact, Nanga Parbat means naked mountain. Oh, and, and it's the ninth tallest mountain in the world. And you have to be naked when you look at it. This is a local tradition called naked mountain watching. We're just waiting there for a bit of food. Uh, we're getting some like local produce, local vegetables, uh, local lentils, and we're going to have their special curry called karahi. Super super nice. <laughs> yes, this town is not dying. Hello, how are you? I'm good, thank you. This is my kitchen. Ah, your kitchen. This is my kitchen. Ah. Oh. What are you cooking? Backwards. <laughs> I cook chicken biryani, chicken pilau, and chicken. Hello. Chicken kadai. Yeah. Uh, it is it. <laughs> ah, cool. My kitchen chef. Yeah, yeah. This man is chef. This man is the chef. Yeah. What's your name? Chef. Pader. Maru. Maru. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hello. What's your name? My name is Gul Mohammed. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Well, this is lunch. Yeah, oh yeah, it's very late lunch. Okay, this is our accommodation for the night. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> and I guess along this plank. Oh, hello. This lake here gives off the most gorgeous reflection of this uh, mountain range of uh, Nanga Parbat. We're hoping that those clouds just clear up just a little bit more and we'll be able to see the full peak of Nanga Parbat. Colin's just uh, there getting the shot. Here are our little eggs. <laughs> Two little eggs. We've got the local cricket game going on here. Get after it. So serious. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, oh, my god. Yeah. We have to get them out to, for, to be able to put. And then here you've got the local game of volleyball. Yeah. Oh, they're pretty good. You've got Aziz playing there. Can you spot him? <laughs> Alright. Dinner's here. dinner we had another traditional Pakistani feast before chilling around the cozy campfire with a cup of chai and a bit of the local moonshine too. Not there, not there. Good morning from the sunny fairy meadows. The weather's amazing today and we have the best view of Nangaparba and apparently it's going to be like this all day, which is insane. So we're just gonna be hiking basically towards Nangapaba in that direction with a view of it all day. How glorious. And actually it's a lot warmer in the morning. It gets really, really cold here at night and I was so glad for my, um, for my down jacket. But this morning it's warm, it's nice. 
absolutely glorious and a few of us have just gone to the tuck shop. Buy water. <laughs> yeah, this is the best place to buy water, is it? Definitely one of them. How much for a big bottle of water? How much? Oh, but that's still less than a pound. It's not bad. Alright. Ready to go hiking for the day. It looks like my backpack's full again, but it actually has half the things that it did in yesterday because we're staying in this area tonight as well. So I was able to leave half my stuff um, in the room. I've filled up my hydration bladder with the water we just bought from the tuck shop. I think it's going to be a good day. Today we are going to be trekking up to the Nangapaba viewpoint. There is an optional extra like two hours there, two hours back hike um, to the Bayel base camp. Will is not entirely encouraged that we're going to be able to do that. Because um, it's difficult, it's really, really difficult. The altitude is high and I can feel myself breathing faster, like my heart beating faster and it's more difficult to breathe. But we'll just see how we go. If we're feeling really good, then maybe we can go up to the base camp. Though that does mean skipping lunch. <laughs> Honestly, I've never liked it. I was like, I'll stop looking at you. Nice. Oh, so good. <laughs> Another day, another cup of chai, but this time with a view. Wowza! We're gonna rejuvenate and rehydrate with some lovely chai. We've got about another 35 minutes to the viewpoint. Okay. Where you'll get to see all of the glaciers come together. Beautiful. Everyone's feeling good? Yeah. 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 Easier than yesterday, right? Yeah. That is absolutely yeah. amazing. Wowza. What? Wow. Is that all snow? It's ice. Glacier. No way. Wow. That is amazing. The Australian's first time seeing snow. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Look how amazing. Aziz dishing out the massages. Just $400, guys. <laughs> Can I be next, Aziz? Sure. Thank you. So we have reached the Nangapalvat viewpoint, and I just was not expecting this humongous glacier to be here. It's absolutely insane. Now, some of the group, the really fast ones, have gone a little bit further. They're going to German, German base Point, camp. German base camp, but it's like super steep uphill and they're walking fast. And so there's a few of us who have just said, you know what, we're quite happy where we are. I've told them to take photos though. So actually, Colin's got his nice camera with him. Um, I will put on the screen now uh, the photos that Colin's taken. I've actually been struggling to breathe a little bit. It's, it's high altitude here, it's tough. And I'm struggling to breathe more now that we've stopped rather than when I was actually hiking, which is unusual. But um, I can't complain. What a view. It's really, really nice just chilling here, regardless. Colin! 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 <laughs> Come tell us how it was. Amazing. Did you see any girts? <laughs> no guys, you know one, two people. How hard is it? This first bit was really tough because it's just like really steep and consistent for ages. Then it was just rocky and it sort of went flat and then went down a massive dip and up to the German viewport and you could see the whole glacier come down. This is so good, it's really good. Good effort guys, proud of you all. Well done. Nice. So this is lunch today. Everyone's feeling pretty exhausted. Could I please have some of that? This green stuff here is just basically cream spinach. It's hard. This is aloo sabzi. It's mainly potato mixed with other veggies. And we made it back home. Woohoo! We made it.
may not have made it to the base camp of Nanga Parba on this occasion, but I always say that gives us a darn good reason to come back to this spot one day. Personally, I feel like I've gained a real respect for these mountains today. They are some of the largest in the world and being in their surroundings is not something to be taken lightly. I'm so proud of what everyone achieved today and a big feed is certainly in order. So it's our final dinner. We've got potatoes. Or if you're from Yorkshire, potatoes. Fire's going again tonight. Teams around. You woo woo woo. Well, half the team. <laughs> What just happened? Well, the bench was running and she stole them. And oh, the bench they... just broke. Yeah, the bench is broke. Oh no, you okay? <laughs> oh no. Have you got green tea all over you? Oh no. Oh, no. oh thank you. Your child? Like chaotic energy around the fire all of a sudden. From ghost stories to chaos. Take one last good look at it. One last amazing look at Nanga Parbat because we are descending down now, descending back down to the Jeeps where we got uh, where we came in from the other day. And I am feeling not great again this morning. I feel like I could pass out again and I have a massive headache, but I've taken paracetamol. So hopefully it will all be good and also the walk this morning is all going to be downhill because it was all uphill the other day so that should make things a fair bit easier for us but we've been so lucky with the weather it's absolutely gorgeous it's just been pretty sunny every single day how are you going jade I'm good. she's good Whoop. how are you going colin I'm always good you're always good you are always good life. that's what i'm doing guy's just taking a toilet up the mountain, of course. Mm -hmm. And this guy's got a big table. Hello. Morning. Right, setting off again in the G. here because we've now left Ferry Meadows. We're on our way to Kareemabad where I may or may not pick up the next video. Really hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I have two thumbs. Follow him on Instagram if you want. If you don't, that's fine as well. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye! Coming up, we take to the shops of Karimabad for some extremely well-priced jewels and interesting fits, followed by tackling our next trek up to the base camp of Rakaposhi. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it, and I'll see you then.